Time now for News Nation's Gut Check. What is preventative medicine? Under the new health care law passed by President Obama, preventative services like cholesterol tests, mammograms, and even some vaccinations are fully covered with no additional copay. Well, now a medical panel that advises the government says birth control should also fall under that preventative category and be fully covered. But critics say the free services will lead to higher premiums, and they also have other objections to it. And joining me now is Nancy Keenan, President of NARAL Pro-Choice America. Nancy, thanks for joining us. Some of those opposed to this, Cardinal Daniel DiNardo, one of them, he says without sufficient legal protection for rights of uh, conscience, some, such as a mandate, would force all men, women, and children to carry health care coverage that violates the deeply held moral and religious convictions of many. So they say based on their religion, they shouldn't have to pay into insurance that would eventually allow women to have birth control for free. Tamarin, let's be clear. Uh, this decision by a medical panel is a great victory for women's health because it, re it basically says that insurance companies must cover birth control without additional copay. And so this is about an insurance companies across this country providing customer services without the additional copay that they've had to pay when they've gone to that pharmacist for their birth control. Now, the other objection is that the this same panel recommended or could recommend that the morning after pill, not the so-called abortion pill as it is referred to commonly, but the morning after pill could also possibly be covered under this. And as you all know, that has also incited anger by some. It is covered by this. and. Emergency contraception, or Plan B as it often is known, is birth control. Let's be clear. It prevents the pregnancy. So this is not about abortion, and the other side is, is uh, confusing this issue in purposefully. Are you surprised by this debate, or should you have seen this, or we've seen this coming here the minute it was brought up? Oh, I think it's, it's very clear that the other side is not only against safe and legal abortion in this country, but they are against birth control and access to that birth control for women and their families. Ninety-eight percent of women access birth control in their lives, and they are so out of touch with American values. Well, some of the other recommendations by this panel, um, HPV, HIV screenings, STD and domestic violence counseling, breastfeeding equipment, and yearly healthy women checkups, which the bottom one, it's stunning that people uh, don't, are not able to get that anyway covered. Uh, we know that is preventative. But this is an interesting debate. Do we know if uh, the commission's recommendations hold weight? I think absolutely. I mean, again, it's a medical panel. I think the Obama administration will accept those recommendations. He has also been a, a big advocate of women's health and preventive care. And so we expect those to be adopted by the administration and that access to this birth control w for women without that additional copay are going to be available within a year or so. All right. Nancy Keenan, thank you very much for joining us on this gut check. And so what is your gut tell?